I maybe am the wrong guy to give a scientific homily on the process from a seed to a plant. We could have invited Abbot John to do that if we wanted a science lesson. Maybe a farmer likely knows enough about it as well. But what I do hope to do this evening is tell a story about that seed. Personify it. Give it life. Because the journey that seed goes from seed to plant is one that reflects our Lenten journey as well. The point being, it gets planted two inches into the ground. And in two inches, there's incredible transformation. So let's start at the beginning. A small grain of wheat, just an itty bitty seed, gets plunged two inches into the ground, covered up. It's dark. The seed is scared, unfamiliar territory. But yet, it feels safe and comfortable because it has that hard, husky shell protecting it. It knows the shell. But then a little bit of moisture gets in, and the ground warms just a little bit. And suddenly the inside of that seed starts to expand a little. And suddenly the the shell, which was comfortable, is now closing in. It's constricting. It's uncomfortable. It's pressing. And then as if designed from the beginning of time, the shell cracks. And that little seed sends out just a small fingerling of a sprout. If you thought it was scared the first time, now it's in that wet, sticky, cold mud. Uncomfortable, confused, shaming, foolish, unfamiliar territory. But yet something deep inside of that seed says, keep growing, keep growing going. Head north. And it does so until it hits a rock. The rock doesn't care. And yet that small arm sneaks its way around the side. Still going. Still called on by something greater. It knows its life is not meant to live in the mud. And as it continues, it gets closer to the surface of the earth. The ground is drier there. And that crust is pretty impermeable. So that small fingerling feels around for just the slightest lesion on the skin of the earth. Just a little crack to make its way through. And once it finds that spot, it springs forth out into the light. What a moment, huh? Brightness, warmth, that perfect breeze for the first time, blowing it around. This is surely what this grain of wheat was intended for. To give new life, to spring forth. An incredible transformation in two inches. Our Lenten journey began on Ash Wednesday. That might have been the day we were plunged into the ground. Given this incredible opportunity to have a change of heart, to be converted converted, and transform into something new. These Lenten days we've been weaving our way through the mud. Likely you've hit a rock every once in a while. You've found your way around it. We're nearing that crusty surface. And on Easter, 
we break forth into the light, into that new creation that God promises each one of us. I use the image of two inches because hopefully it's encouraging. You don't have to go far to be transformed. Two small inches to have incredible transformation in your life. So allow yourself to be planted. Allow some of those awkward moments of moving through the mud. Grow. Listen to God calling you forth into the light so that collectively and individually we might spring forth in new life. A people abounding with goodness, flowing with love and mercy, just as God intended each of us. So in these final Lenten days, before we reach the Paschal mystery of Easter, keep growing, keep turning your heart over to the Lord. Keep willing yourself to grow. And if you're feeling stuck in the mud, don't be afraid to ask God for a little help. And if God feels far away or foreboding, try a neighbor or a friend. Get some encouragement so that each of us can make the journey of two inches this Lenten season and become a new creation.